Hey, I'm Andy Slade. I'm here today with Oryx and we're going to talk about the basic components of a modern precision rifle. What we're looking at here is we're going to start from the muzzle and go all the way to the butt. Starting at the muzzle, we've got the muzzle end. Now, most modern precision rifles are going to come with threaded muzzles. That threaded muzzle is very helpful because it'll allow you to put accessories on the end of the barrel, such as a muzzle brake or a suppressor. So in this case, this is a suppressor, but there is a muzzle brake underneath it. So your muzzle brake that looks like this is going to be used to control recoil. Uh, there are other muzzle devices out there that will limit flash and other things, but for hunting and for uh, target shooting and things like that, a muzzle brake is going to control recoil a lot better than a bare muzzle. Now, uh, suppressor, if you're allowed to use that in the area that you're in, which we are, will also control some recoil. It'll dampen the recoil a little bit for you, but it'll also make the muzzle report a lot more bearable, so you won't have to use uh, double ear pro and that type of thing. It's going to be a lot quieter Still not movie quiet, but it'll, your neighbors will thank you. All right, so moving from the muzzle device onto the barrel, different manufacturers are gonna differ, offer different profile barrels. So depending on what you're using the rifle for, it's gonna be based on whether you want to carry a heavier rifle, you can use a heavier barrel. Um, lighter barrels tend to heat up more quickly, but they're definitely lighter. Heavier barrels tend to uh, hold their rigidity over long strings of fire, but they're definitely more heavy. So if you're using the rifle for a target rifle, you can have a nice heavy profile. If it's gonna be a hunting rifle that you're carrying out in the backwoods, then you're probably gonna want a lighter profile barrel to lose that weight. So as we come back from the barrel, we're coming to the action. This particular example is a custom action that is based on a Remington 700 footprint. So different chassis are made for different actions. So if you've already got an action, but you don't have a chassis yet, just make sure that you order that chassis based on what action you have. So a couple different features that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you look at to make sure that you have your safety location and some actions are 90 degree where some are 60, like this is a 60 degree throw and some are 90 degree throw, just meaning that the bolt comes up further um, they all can be very accurate. That just comes down to personal preference. Moving on from the action, we've got our trigger. So if you have a factory rifle trigger, uh, sometimes they're adjustable and sometimes they're not. If you want to change the trigger, there are different options out there that are available. This particular example is a Trigger Tech Diamond and it is adjustable. So that's gonna be a lot of, based on personal preference and use. So if you're gonna be hiking with the rifle, say as a hunting rifle, you may choose to use a heavier trigger weight if it's solely a target rifle and it's going to be used based on a prone or bench then you can use a much lighter weight trigger pull so moving on from the action we have what the action is bolted into if you're if you have a factory rifle that factory rifle typically comes with either a plastic or a wooden stock and that plastic or wooden stock is susceptible to flex and a lot of times they're not free floated so what you can do is upgrade that rifle using something like this or its chassis, which gives you a lot of features to upgrade that rifle. One, it's gonna allow your barrel to be free floated, which is gonna greatly improve your accuracy. Another thing it's gonna do is give you the option to run detachable mags, such as a 10 round magazine. So when you're target shooting and stuff like that, it's a lot better. You don't have to reload as often. And if to unload the rifle, you can just unload, pull that magazine out and pull the bolt back as well as giving you the option to have adjustable cheek and buttstock length of pull, which is gonna help you be much more consistent and to be able to have that rifle adjusted exactly to your body. One of the key features of this chassis is it's made from a solid piece of aluminum at its core so that you don't have to worry about bedding, you don't have to use a gunsmith, you can install this yourself and get all of the features that we just talked about without having any assistance from outside. So you can put it in yourself and get that accuracy right off the bat. So this chassis will also accept a sling stud for your Harris type bipods or any other bipod that would accept a sling stud. It also will accept M-Lock Picatinny rails across the bottom if you already have that set up on other accessories. 
You can also attach this Arca rail, which is gonna offer you the most flexibility. You'll be able to clip into the tripod, such as we have here, or you can use any bipod that has an Arca rail mount so that you can slide your bipod or tripod anywhere along the rail to give you the most flexibility in your shooting positions.